On the 7th of September, the whole world tuned in to watch this year's Apple event. After all the rumors, we were curious to see what the company had in store for us this time. A fancy few words that were thrown around, for example, L5 Precision Dual Frequency GPS. What does that mean? Well, let's find out. First up, Apple equips its high-end models with L5 GPS. Back in the good old days, GPS receivers used to be standalone devices. You'd have to pay thousands of dollars to purchase one. GPS was something that was used by construction companies, geographers, geologists, and such. If you looked at a GPS from the 90s, you'd be surprised how hefty this thing was. That's insane, right? Because now they're built into the most basic of smartphones and smartwatches. And no, we don't just mean $1,500 dollar iPhones, GPSs can be found in literally $150 budget phones as well. It's amazing to see how far tech has come. It's the year 2022 and the GPS is everywhere. It's also a bit boring, so much so that we kind of take it for granted. How else do you think to use Google Maps or check out your friend's locations on Snapchat? It's all GPS. The tech, however, is sufficient. You take a walk and your phone knows exactly where you are. You're trying to find a place, you know exactly where to go. If you were going through a rough part of town and you share your live location with your bud, then you know for a fact that they know exactly where you are. Despite that, however, Apple's now packing precision dual frequency GPS in the new iPhone 14 Pro, Pro Max, and the Apple Watch Ultra. If you're an Android user who owns a Xiaomi, OnePlus, or Huawei, then you already know what this is and you've had it for a while now. Next up, a little on GPS. Global Positioning System is a satellite-based navigation system that's owned and operated by the government of the United States. It was founded primarily for military use, but the system found a huge commercial use as well. As we already mentioned, it used by scientists around the world and more importantly by construction companies building important infrastructure in rural areas. The system currently consists of a constellation of 31 satellites, all of which are operational. Since the launch of the US-based system, India, China, Russia, Japan, and the EU have built their own systems. These are known as b -Do and they consist of 35 operational satellites, but even when people use this alternative system, the term GPS is thrown around while using it, mostly because it becomes synonymous with location tracking. If you dive deep, you'll see that along with the US GPS, the iPhone and Apple Watch use BDO and a bunch of other systems as well. GPS satellites send signals at different frequencies, which are called bands. There are several bands that GPS satellites can transmit on, but that all depends on the system. To understand what the L5 Precision Dual Frequency GPS is that Apple will be using from now on, we must understand what these bands do and how they behave in different conditions. Moving on, what are L1 and L5 bands? There are several bands, but we'll only be looking at two of them. The L1 and L5, that's because there are only two that were mentioned by Apple in the event. L1 is the oldest kind of signal used in a GPS, and it's made of two different signals. The precision code, the signal reserved for military use, and the course acquisition position code, the signal that's open for civilian use. Now, let's not forget that L1 is highly reliable and accurate. After all, that's what we've been using all these years to navigate our way through this complicated planet of ours. But it does, however, have a limitation. The signal doesn't pass through obstacles all that well. Have you ever called an Uber and noticed that your location was all wonky? Maybe it was pointing to the house behind you or a couple houses down the lane. That's exactly the problem here. At times, to get the accurate location, you'd have to go into the street and it's it's not just buildings, big trees and dense foliage can also weaken or block the signal. And what's more, they could also be reflected off the walls. This is what we call the multipath error, and that's exactly where the L5 comes in. This is a newer signal, and it's designed to eliminate the weakness of the L1, and it has ability for greater signal processing to remove random data. But that's just the L5. What about the precision dual frequency GPS that Apple mentioned? Well, let's dive right in. Up next, what is a precision dual frequency GPS? Now, we need to understand the second part of the company's statement. Have you heard the phrase, the more the merrier? Because that's what the case is with the precision dual frequency GPS. If using L1 on its own is quite accurate, Accurate, then surely using L1 and L5 will give you higher accuracy, right? Correct. And that's why Apple is bringing it to the higher end and of course, higher priced iPhone 14 Pro slash Pro Max and the Apple Watch Ultra. It'll make location data more accurate at times when the L1 alone might not be sufficient. But it's important to note here that Apple isn't the first one to use this tech. As you know, the company has a policy of we make it perfect or we don't make it at all. This leads to some pretty bland but reliable products 
by the company. The first ever smartphone to use this tech was the Xiaomi Mi 8, and it had this feature back in 2018. And now, it's found in several Android phones such as Huawei Mate 40 Pro 5G, OnePlus 10T 5G, and the Xiaomi Mi 11. And most of these phones will set you back a lot less than, not an iPhone even, but the darn Apple Watch Ultra that starts at a whopping $800. But is using two bands an overkill? Let's find out. Let's talk about why Apple is using it and why they aren't using L5 alone. In simple words, it's not ready. The L5 alone might provide us with higher accuracy, but it won't cover the globe. On top of that, the US government has stated that the L5 signal is currently only being broadcast by 17 GPS satellites. That would make the system pre-operational, not fully functional. Consequently, Apple can't rely on something like that for the millions of devices it's going to sell. That's why they're using the L1 and pre-operational L5 signal in combination. Think of it like an electric car, but with a normal engine as a backup. While you'll get the advantages an EV has to offer, you know if the battery runs out, you'll have some old, more reliable tech to fall back on. The new iPhone or the watch will use the high accuracy L5 and and it's not enough, it'll use the L1 as a backup. Best of both worlds, isn't it? Now let's move on to why they're using it. Simply put, it's a marketing gimmick. While this may benefit some people, it won't benefit the majority. Plus, people still need to rely on GPS products worth thousands of dollars for precision work, such as construction. They're only using it to justify the high price of the watch and to justify you switching to the 14 Pro. But it's not all that evil because there are some benefits. Why don't we tell you these and you decide for yourself if you need one or not. Finishing up, do you need it? Well, the answer as usual would be that it depends. Remember the Uber example we gave earlier in this video? this new system will ensure that you don't have to go out into the streets to get a proper location. You'll be able to get an Uber from the comfort of your room, but is that worth the upgrade? That's your call, viewer. Because while this all sounds fancy and useful, and it can be, the truth is that for most people, regular good old GPS is plenty enough. It's more than accurate in most conditions, but if you feel the need for a greater and more consistent accuracy, or maybe you live somewhere where the GPS coverage frustrates you, then this might just be what you you were looking for. In all honesty though, GPS is a signal that comes from 10,000 miles above you. There are so many variables that'll come into play. Your signals could be affected by the environment around you, or even the atmospheric conditions, so it might not be more accurate in your case. But that's a big might, because under most conditions, L5 Precision Dual Frequency GPS will offer a greater accuracy and reliability. And that's exactly why Apple uses it. Well, that's a wrap folks. Did this new feature convince you to upgrade? And if not, then what other iPhone or watch feature do you like the most? Let us know all your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.